All right, it's Monday, and uh, this coming week I have a gig with The Haunted in Finland. Up in the Finnish woodlands somewhere, we're gonna play a gig at the festival. I don't even remember the last time we played a show with The Haunted, so uh, I need to figure shit out. I need to practice. However, it's extremely exciting because it's the first time I'm ever gonna play an X shape live, so I'm gonna bring, you know, my Solar. Type X, obviously. I need to figure out my rig setup for this. And as I, if you saw the last Sunday with Fall, I you know it was the Quad Cortex. I'm just gonna set all of that up and make sure everything's working and all that. So I'm ready for this upcoming gig before I start practicing, actually. So I'm back here in this room again. Oh, it's so cleaned up and nice. Good, good work, Ola. Everything's just so clean. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Here's my touring case, which basically fits everything I need uh, in terms of, you know, not guitar. So uh, quad cortex and I'm probably gonna bring a power amp because I saw they had EVH 5150s as backline for the show. And even though those are incredible amplifiers that sound absolutely amazing, their effects loop returns sounds a little bit weird it's not like regular amplifiers so for my type of setup where i take a quad cortex or a preamp going into uh, a power amp of an amplifier it just doesn't work as good on an evh 5150 so i'm thinking of bringing my own tube power amplifier for this but uh, this case will fit all of it looks like this right now just a bunch of cables and you know there's still a lot of room but i need to figure out like my in-ears and all there's a lot of shit that you know you people don't see let me take this. Uh. All right. Uh. Uh. Hey, Pixen. Hey, Pixen. Yep. I think I'm gonna bring the KSR power amp for this. This is a 50 watt tube uh, power amp. So I'll bring that out there. It's a good size, you know, and uh, good weight. I'm bringing out a cab because obviously I need to test. Obviously for festivals you don't bring cabinets, but you know, the rest you kind of need. Boom, like that. There goes the power amp. Quad Cortex. I saw someone was commenting regards of uh, what the tapes on the unit itself was for. It's basically just to showcase and uh, tell quickly what outputs I'm using, or in this case, the expression number one and not expression number two. It's just gonna make it a little easier for my guitar tech, okay? Speaker cable. Just making sure I have all the cables uh, that are needed for the show. At festivals, they do cater for cables and shit like that, but I just like to bring my own ones anyways, because you never know, man. Okay, I think send one in this case on this unit is straight to power amplifier, and then I have output uh, one and two uh, that you can use for direct, like if you want to go into the PA. But I'm just going to use the one going into the cabinet, and you know, our sound guy can mic up uh, the uh, cabinet. I just reminded myself that I have a completely different bag for my in-ears. All the wireless stuff in there. Strap with a wireless unit on it. And here I think and hope is the in-ear system. Yes, that's the in-ear system right there. So good that I have all of that figured out. Almost. And then you're asking, well, can't you just use regular monitors instead? And yes, absolutely, I can. But I've noticed that when I'm using in-ears, you know, I pay attention way more to my playing. And Pixie, are you having a good time? I just noticed that I'm performing way better with in-ears and I'm actually playing the guitar way better because I can actually hear exactly what I'm playing. So, uh, and it's also saving my ears. You know, the monitors that are just blasting shit in your ears. That's cool and all, but it damages your ears, unless you have uh, earplugs. It's just easier to be able to hear everything. Uh, for the performance overall, it's just better. And then you're gonna say, well, that's not rock and roll. That's not rock and roll. Who gives a shit? Well, I care about my ears and I care about my performance, okay? But that's not rock and roll. 
That's a cool uh, lyric line, by the way. But that's not rock and roll. But that's not rock and roll. All right, shit. Here's a set of strings that I'm probably gonna switch to. Plug the wireless into the input of the quad and C cortexin. What? Quad cortex. Are you alive? Uh, I don't know what happened, but the quad cortex uh, stopped responding. Hello. This is why you bring out stuff before you go out on tour, okay? And try and see if things work. Why is it not working? What the hell? Oh! It was the fucking... That's why I don't like these, where you slide in these things. Because then, when they're like this... Oh, because then, when you're like this, it's not fully in. Okay? Stupid. Okay. So... Quad cortex is fine, people. It's just the freaking power supply. Oh, okay. We're checking. The quad cortex has seems to be working fine. We're, it's loading up right now. It's not loading very fast, but that's the thing about the digital emollers, you know, they take time. Okay, so the haunted test one one. I think that's my preset right there that I was using. So, okay, I think we're good. However, expression pal. Oh, that's a, <laughs> a pixie asshole in the camera. Great. Oh, and here's the, oh shit, I need the expression pal. Where's that? Uh, I'm trying to figure out when I used my expression pedal last. Also, take a look at this. These are my old modelers that I was using live. Here's the, the Axe 8 pedal right here that I was using a fair, fair bit. Which is still sounding insanely good. You know, I was thinking, I'm putting this up on my uh, sales channel on oldanglandshock.com. You can purchase this if you want. It's, look at this. It's been through a couple of tours. It's the shit. But where the fuck is my expression pill? There it is. Look, <laughs> there it was right there underneath that styrofoam. So this is a fractal audio expression pill and it is the shit. And that's what I'm using. Let me just try this real quick. See if there's, there's audio. You can see this strap uh, was for uh, my type A. You know, guitar is very high up. It's not supposed to be like that. Okay, watch out Pixie, now comes the volume. It's a wire. What? It's a wireless system. I need to turn on the wireless for this. <laughs> I was wondering why I wasn't getting any uh, output, but yeah, you know, you need to turn shit on. set list. Okay, let's try it. Oh shit, it's an E flat. <laughs> Fuck. All right, so this guitar was in the wrong tune. It, it's an E flat. Damn it. So, uh, but I do have a preset where I tune, tune down one uh, half step, I think. Before I change the strings, I mean, this is good for practice, I guess. With brutes.
shit. <laughs> All right, shit. Well, that's why you need to practice, people. All right, I also have to check the set list if we're playing any uh, drop D songs or drop C songs, because then maybe I need to bring two guitars. So yeah, uh, I think I got this covered. Uh, however, I do need to practice the set list and whatnot. I'm thinking maybe I'll have a live stream this coming week. How about that? So, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned. I might do a practice and live stream. It, nothing major. I'm just going to, you know, put on the camera while I'm standing here uh, rehearsing this, I guess. So, I'll see you then. Okay? Alors.